pro revenue. Um, uh, so, um, it, but it is it is what my brain is leaning towards, and it's something that I'm I'm I've been thinking about a lot lately. Uh, we came to a point in in Otterball's history where we realized that we were building a vast network of amazingly talented people, way more talented than we will ever be. That um, that we get to work with and eat with and talk with and share life with on a regular basis, and so. Um, I, like I said earlier, I spend a lot of times with young designers that are, are and you know young creative people that would kill to meet with some of the people that we meet with. And so I, I was convicted one day that why can't they sit with us? Why can't that design student that's going to the, the design school in Missouri that is you know busting his hump to try to get the website for the little mom and pop shop down the, down the street, why can't they meet with some of these industry leaders that we get to meet with? Why are we so different? And so um, we are working on a, on a project called Art versus Inspiration. Um, uh, when it's up, you'll be able to find it at artvinspiration.com. Um, that uh, our whole goal is to um, invite notable leaders to have coffee shop conversations uh, with the creative community. And um, what we do is we invite the Twitter community in order to, to present those questions to those people. And then we are just the vessel. We will ask the questions that are the most popular and then ask those people and then allow a forum online for people to have a, a continuing conversation with that person to, and, and possibly build network with, with the people that, that we know and get to work with regularly. Um, it's just so important to us to figure out ways to give back, and that's all crap aside. Uh, when we were starting out, um, trying to get meetings was hard. You know, trying to get the information that was going to to push us further was hard. And I remember asking questions like, "What book should I read? What what resources should I have?" And and some and oftentimes those fall in deaf ears. We want to make sure that we're listening to the community. We want to make sure that there are ways, if there are ways that we can give back that that are not hard for us, um, why wouldn't we? Um, uh, I, am a, I am not naive to the fact that this will help Otterball. Um, we build websites, it's gonna be on our website, we're creative. Um, I'm sure some of the, the interviews that we do are going to lead to, to bigger interviews and will work for us. Um, but our mission in this entire venture, and the reason why, like I said, is that it's a passion project for me, is uh, ultimately, um, we, our focus is making sure that the creative community is a rich environment um, that, that, a, that is open to communication and sharing. And uh, if we can make a little website in order to make that, that happen, um, then, then it's our pleasure and we wanna do that. We've, we've had a lot of success and, and we, we, we try to make great decisions um, but ultimately, uh, we're trying to be as excellent as we can in what we do. Um, one of the things just uh, off the cuff that, that I think would be interesting to people is that I would, as, as, a, uh, as a designer and as a, a business owner, um, I would much rather have five small projects uh, instead of one big project. Um, I would much rather have a bunch of little musicians that, that really need what we do than some corporate conglomerate that's going to throw you know, $100,000 our way. Because ultimately, um, uh, that $100,000 project could sink our company. Um, it, it requires too much attention uh, from our um, uh, skeleton crew of specialists. Um, whereas if we have those, those smaller... Uh, projects we can we can really invest in them we can turn them around quickly and then we can move on to, to more projects and, th and that keeps us profitable um, we are not in the business of innovation we are not trying to uh, invent new methods by which to build websites what we want to do uh, we're flash house we have a, a content management system that we've built on the flash platform um, we get we get uh, we get uh, slammed all the time that we use Flash, but but ultimately what we want to do is we want to take Flash and use it to its uh, fullest potential. All of our websites are 100% uh, SEO compatible. They all come with an iPhone version. They're all um, mostly updatable. 
We have a restrictive content management system that allows the client to be able to update their content without breaking the design because ultimately at the core of Otterball, we are a design firm and we leverage development in order to support our design and our marketing. So um, uh, we just, in, at the end, at the end of the day, we wanna set up um, healthy business practices in order to allow us to excel in our design. I know I haven't talked much about design and I suspect that most people, um, you know, my mom and the five other people that are watching this um, are watching this because we're a design company. And, uh, but most of my day, I spend most of my day thinking about how to be a good company, uh, not necessarily a good design company. And I think that that allows me to earn the right to spend the time that I do designing.